Hi guys, it's Sarah. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really, really well wherever you are. Today in Newcastle, it's still grim and gloomy because I'm recording loads of videos today, but I'm going to take you through my makeup collection over a few videos. This was a lovely suggestion from Vix LB. Thank you very much for um, asking me to do this. So what I've done today is I've dug out all my eyeshadow palettes. And I have a lot of them because I'm, and I actually have maybe less than what I normally do because I did actually uh, depot and declutter a lot of them um, a few months ago. But I'll take you through everything I've got. I'm not going to swatch everything just because the amount that I've got is going to take so long. And it's not going to be in chronological order from how old things are purely because A, I can't remember, and B, I'm too messy to sort this out, okay? But there's a lot of stuff here. I've got like, I've Low and low stacks. I've tried to stack them in brands as well. And if I can remember the prices, I will put the prices on, but I can't. But what I will say is, is digging through this, thank you very much for getting me to do this, has made me realize that not only do I have a lot of products, but also a lot of neglected items. So I think what I might start doing is a shop my stash Sunday. So every Sunday, I'm going to shop a new stash and create seven looks from it and I'm gonna post it on the, the following Sunday, the looks that I did for that week. So for anyone who doesn't follow me on Instagram, they can see what I've done. Now this is something that I've seen Shandy do, I'll leave her, her down below, and some other YouTubers do as well. It's nothing new, but I like the concept of it and if it gets me to use some more of my products, then that would be great. I will say that I have just ordered some more makeup. So, this is the makeup that I've included. My, I don't think I've ordered any palettes of it. Oh, I yeah, know I have ordered it. No, no, I've not ordered any palettes. But hopefully, some of the makeup that I've ordered will come in time for the next videos that I am going to do. What's going on here? Um, sorry, I've been distracted. So keep an eye out for that. Also, this is going to be a very long video, so you know, feel free to come back to it anytime you want. Get a drink like me. I've got a cup of tea. It's very nice. Mmm. I wish I had a biscuit, but I don't, so just get some stacks and bits and bobs and we're going to dive straight into it. And the first thing I want to show you is actually this palette that I've got in my hand. And this is one of my favourite MAC palettes. I got this, ooh, I think in 2012. And this is it here. And... I think I got this around June time because I do remember wearing this to IMATS, the one and only IMATS I ever went to and I really enjoyed that, I went, with, went there with my friend Karen and I just can't get rid of this, it's super old, I am a hoarder of makeup as well and I had a lot of MAC palettes that I depotted and I took to London with me in February this year and got some lipsticks with because I didn't realise that you could also get eyeshadows and other things so I've learned something new, so I know that for next time, but this is just something that I can't kind of let go of because I really, really love it. Then I'm going to show you this stash here. This is my wad of Sleek palettes. I absolutely love Sleek as a makeup brand. Their eyeshadows are fantastic. It's from the drugstore or what we call a pharmacy in the UK. So they're very, very affordable and they range around about six to nine pounds. So the first one I'm gonna show you is, and I've got the plastic sheet, and this one is called the See You At Midnight Palette and it's an eyes and cheek one. Oh, where's my thing there? And my friend Jo gave me this. I haven't actually used it yet. I've kind of put it in the drawer to be used and then I've, I've terribly forgotten about it, but that's it there. Then we have got the Ultra Matte version two palette. I will say that the sleep pots can be quite hard to open. This is a kind of uh, more sultry, smoky eyeshadow palette and I actually really enjoy this green shade. I've been after a forest green for ages so this is definitely something I'm going to dive back into. Oh, greasy fingerprints all over there. Then what have we got here? Now I think I've got two of these, yes I do. So I've got two vintage romance palettes. So. Sleek is sold in Boots and maybe some other places as well, but they do do a lot of offers with the brand. I know that I did end up getting maybe one of these free. So you can see, I've ended up stupidly using both palettes. Hang on. So you can see how, oh God, how loved that one is. And then I've got this one here. They're absolutely gorgeous. I really, really love them. And this shade here, I'm just gonna do a little finger swatch. And this shade, yeah, these three here. Oh, 
I love them so much. And I created one of my favourite looks ever. I'll see if I can post a picture of it using this palette and I really love them. And I don't know what's gone on with this, but it's very tatty. Yeah, the, the formulas for these are really, really good. Now, what have I got next? I've got the Bad Girl, Bad Girl palette. And this is all smoky, smoky, smoky. Eyes, lots of purple, greys. Not really one that I've dived into much, but I do like the look of this purple. Oh, that is a lot darker than what I thought it would be. But it's, ooh, it looks so good, this one. Ooh, that's a nice good metal silver. Ooh, why have I never tried this one? Ooh, let's, let's just look at these three. Oh, I'm loving this. See, this is why you gotta dive straight back into it, but these feel really creamy, and I really, really love them. Sometimes I find with like, very cool toned grey palettes, which I used to really love back in the day, that they kind of get a, they kind of get a bit muddy. A bit like when I use brown eyeshadows, I'm kind of getting into trying to use a few more brown shades. They can get a little bit muddy, and I get a little bit intimidated by them. So I'm going to dive back into that. This one here, I can see why I've not used this one. They all come with one of those sponge applicators that Christine from Simply Neological would like these. This is called Au Natural, and this is your simple nude palette. When did I get this? There she is, they're really nice. I feel like I'm in the girl guide. <laughs> but yeah, these are really lovely. This would be kind of like a nice wedding palette for someone who is maybe wanting to do their own makeup on their own wedding day. Cause they've got some nice soft neutral colors. And then last but not least, I think I know which one this one is. Yeah, this is Ultramax version one. I thought I'd check this out. Oh my God, this one's really stiff. <laughs> yeah, this is it here. So it was pretty much You'd think, oh Sarah, you must really like this because like you hit pan. No, this bro this was broken when I got it. I find there are better neon palettes out there on a budget. Or if you are gonna do neons, just pay a little bit, like save up and pay a little bit more because mm, actually maybe I'm being a bit critical. They're okay. They take a little bit of while to build up, and I think I found them to be a little bit patchy. Maybe I should do like a a look just using sleep palette. Then I got this palette here. Does anybody remember Models Own, the brand? They had a booth in Metal Center and I got this in 2016 with my friend Tiffany from my makeup course. Oh, I like this brush. They come with a brush and that's it there. Very neutral. I think again, like most things, I'm drawn to like one color in a palette and that would be the green called Celestial. And I have to say, that green does not look like that green on the back. I think this is about 16 pounds. The shadows are not that great. They're just not worth the price tag, but I know TK Maxx has some models own gift sets, such as like pigments and things like that. So they're not the best to spend full price, but at a discounted price, they're okay. Also, I'd just like to say that eyeshadow palettes are, for me, palettes that are of more than two colors, so three and up. So I haven't included like duos they're gonna go in our in my single eyeshadow selection. Right, I'm gonna go with Anastasia Beverly Hills. So I only have two palettes, and then I have something from Novena, which is obviously part of the big Ana Anastasia brand. So the first one I bought, of course, is the Modern Renaissance palette. That's what everybody wanted in like 2014, 15, whenever it came out. And I can see why, because it's really, really lovely. And I'm gonna just dump that there so you can see. I honestly really, really love this palette. And as you can see, Love Letter is one that I have definitely delved into quite a lot. I like the brushes that come with the Anastasia palettes. Some people don't like them, but I actually think they're quite good quality for a free brush that comes with them. Because I only got really compared to something like the Models Own one, which is quite cheap. It's still alright for a first, first kind of go at a brush. The brushes are a lot better. Obviously, it's a velour cover, so it picks up all the, the, the kind of makeup in your makeup drawer, but it does have a nice magnetic thing, and that's, I really do love that palette. Next up, we've got the Alyssa Edwards palette, and this is it here. Look at that, this is my type of palette. We've got bright, we've got purples, we've got some nudes. My favorite colors out of here are the shades Believe, Brick Road, and DDC. But the black is really good as well, and the white is really good as well. It's a really fantastic palette, and to get this at TK Maxx, Reduce was even better. I think I paid like 25, 26 pounds for it. And then of course, we've got one of the big boys. This is a, the second volume of the Novena palette collection. Now I got this in America last year, and I was humming and hawing about getting it because I was 
a little bit annoyed at the the amount that they just dropped that year i was thinking do i really want to buy this but then i was like well i'm in sephora i'm not going to get these these american prices in the uk just treat yourself and this is it here again super bright lots of blues and greens i was very excited to get this so in previous years when i've been to america the Sephora that I go to has a really fantastic Anastasia Beverly Hills stand. This year, well I say this year, October 2019, wasn't so great, it was very small. It only had two palettes, this one and the first one. It had some glitters and that was about it. And it was next to Pat McGrath because I know I remember being really humming and hawing about it, but the palette that I wanted from Pat McGrath wasn't there so I didn't get it. So I got my friend to help me choose which palette did I go with the more purple no it wasn't no it wasn't the purple one it was the orange one that was more like autumnal and I was like which one should I get and obviously I wasn't more towards this one but I wanted her to say like this one just to make me feel better about spending like $60 on an eyeshadow palette and she did say this one and I got it what I will say is with this palette it, I think a lot of them are pressed pigments some of them are quite hard work to use um, and I think it's definitely one to get used to some of the colours are really, really fantastic and some of them are a bit meh, like the shimmer shades. They look really nice. Hang on, have I got another one? But they don't apply the best on the eye. Maybe it's something I need to work on because I love this one so much, but I have dug into it. Also, I find with these, they seal over, which is a problem that I had with another palette, which I'll show you, not from Anastasia, but another palette that I'll show you in a, in a bit where the, the, the kind of metallic -y shades do seal over, which means it's hard and you kind of dig in. And I don't want to do that because I don't want to damage the palette. Now, I know a lot of people as well rearrange their palette to make it easier to use the colours and see what they had. And that's maybe something that I would like to do, but I'm also I'm scared in case I damage the palette. So, yeah, it's nice. You do get some eye staining on here. So if you aren't, oh, that's a horrible picture of horrible thing. You know, if you don't want to get stained eyes, maybe don't treat yourself to this palette. But a lot of colours... Some very similar, I will say. If they had a, a, a big deal to get the other ones for quite cheap for Black Friday, maybe that's something that I would treat myself to because I don't mind them. But uh, there are other affordable palettes, which I'll show you in a second, which are better in my opinion. Okay, we've got some small quads from Illamasqua. I used to be like Illamasqua fangirl, like in around about 2012, 2013. I loved it. They had a stall around about 2011-12 in Fenwick in Newcastle, but then they just didn't have it and I just feel like they, they've lost their edge and I noticed the other day that they don't seem to do be linked with Sophie, the Sophie campaign anymore, which is a shame because I really like the fact that those two were together and actually that's how I bought my Sophie armband, a wristband. Now if anybody who doesn't know who Sophie is, she was a goth who was a very tragically um, attacked with her boyfriend and died because of that and there is a, um, a fund to help raise money and her mother since I think she's called Cynthia goes out and raises awareness about prejudice against you know people looking different things like that and it's just an amazing cause that came from such an, uh, such an awful tragedy and that happened over 10 years ago so I, I don't know if they're together anymore like the two linked together Hello, Edit and Sarah here. So just to doubly make sure what I was talking about, I went on the Illamasqua website and typed in Sophie. And there is a page there about what happened and talking about the trust and about Sylvia. Um, but when you go to shop the Sophie range, which used to be like an eyeliner and the wristband and maybe something else, the products have now been removed. And I think that's a bit of a shame, which is a shame if they're not. But I'm going to show you some palettes anyway that I really, really love. So this is the Paranormal palette. And this is it here. Very me. We've got greens, purples, bronzes. They kind of have... I think they're a bit dry now. Yeah, they're very dry now. I should probably chuck these away. They were kind of like a, a, a cream to powder. Almost like what a Super Shock shadow would have been like before Super Shock shadows actually existed. But they're really, really lovely. And I, and I love the way that they they wore on the eyes yeah these are so dry Sarah you are gonna chuck these out I also really love the packaging of Illamasqua products it's very up there in price and they used to do the most wicked sales ever so you used to get if you had made more than three purchases I think you used to get 10% off anyway as an automatic 
but they also used to give you birthday discounts. They took away the 10% discount, and that was in-store and online as well, which was really good. They kind of stripped away all the uniqueness, but their Boxing Day sale used to be incredible, and that's where I used to buy a lot of my stuff. And over the last few years, it's been a bit of a wap wap, if I'm being honest. This was one of my favorite ones, and this is the Fundamental palette, and this had a cream, oh, it's still creamy, a cream silver, it, that is a bit more waxy, cream aqua with two powders. That silver is insane. That's so amazing. And then I love this palette. I love the yellow in this one. Really, really amazing. And then last but not least, we have got the Fatal palette. And I really like this one. This one again, a lot of purples. What I feel like an autumn palette. And I really, really like this. I remember I used to go on nights out with people from my old job. And I remember I put this on and one of the guys came down and was like, oh, you look like Marilyn Manson. Right, okay, cool. And yeah, I really like this palette. And I liked the the burgundy kind of metallic red colour. Really, really lovely. If you are looking for like nice um, eyeshadows, the Illa Masca ones are lovely. And I was really sad to see that they've closed down like the Big Street shops because I remember when I went to London the other year, I was excited to go in and actually get some stuff and it was closed down and I was gutted. Gutted. Okay, a little random one here. We've got the Life's a Peach palette by W7. Obviously, I think this is supposed to be a dupe for one of the Too Faced palettes, Peach palettes. I got this in Douglas in Germany, Berlin, and it was 4.99 euros. And it comes, oh, it actually comes with a brush. I've never even used this brush. I'm gonna take this brush out. This is like, it looks, oh, this brush looks quite nice. If I've never taken this brush out, okay, that's good to know. This is very patchy. This is not the best palette ever. You can tell it's 4 dollars quality. Some colours work better than others, but as a general rule, it's quite patchy and I more than likely would never purchase something from this brand again, unless they've changed their quality in the last uh, three years. I got this one from Boots two years ago. This is the Nicole Concilio Violet Voss palette. Sucker, funny to me that. It came with a highlighter as well, a highlighter palette, which I'll do in a different one. But this is a lovely neutral palette with obviously a pop of blue, which I am just saying a sucker for. Uh, my favourite shades, obviously, is the blue. The black is really, really good. And then the shade chocolate and the shimmer shades are really, really lovely, like this one. Mmm, so good. Let's do some other ones. Yeah, they're, they're really, really nice. And I would totally buy more Violet Voss palettes based on this one as well. It's a shame that they didn't bring any more Violet Voss stuff in last year or um, this year. I know that they, the boots are being a bit more fancy with their premium beauty range and they've got like beauty bakery and things like that, but I just wish they had more. Okay, we've got three Kryolan eyeshadow palettes. I got these for college. That was four years ago, so they're quite old, but they're antibacterial, apparently. This one is the V1. Oh God, it's all rubbed up. This is the Verity color one. It's nice and bright. I will say that these are damp. I don't know, I think I dropped these and they got damaged. I don't think this is from me using them per se. They're very powdery. These remind me of like when you get eyeshadows from like the kids section. Then we've got this cream multi-use palette it's called the color and vision palette and vivid this is insane it's really good it's a bit like the like the flash palette by makeup forever but you've got a few more options or you could use these as lipsticks as well a bit like the anastasia beverly hills lipstick palette or the the makeup by mario one really really fantastic you've got metallics in there as well and you can mix and match and i really, really love this it's fantastic this is really really good and then we've also got the the v3 natural palette this is it here very cool toned i actually use this like four here like the this i think it's like this four or this four to contour with you just mix them all together it's nice again quite a chalky finish not like for how expensive the palettes are i can't remember how much they are they i feel like they could be a little bit more pigmented but they're meant for like to be taken with like photographs and stuff like that. But this one's amazing and I really recommend if you're looking for like a flash palette. We've got two Pixie Beauty palettes. We've got the Double Tap and the Natural Beauty. They're okay, I've only used them a couple of times. Mm, this one looks nice though, that's nice brown. Maybe I need to give them a bit more of a whirl. 
I find that they could be a little bit more pigmented. Brown eyeshadow intimidates me massively because I always find that I end up making them go muddy. But other than that, I like I like this I like this palette more in terms of the colours. I'm just drawn to anything that's like shimmery, like this. Ooh. Wow, these are nice. Like these are lovely colours. These kind of metallic reds and oranges, absolutely lovely. So maybe I'll give them a go. Okay, then we're gonna go with. This one here, this is just a fake version of the Makeup Forever flash palette. This is, I think it's the Eye Magic one. It's from eBay. It's very similar to the Krylon one. So if I feel like I want to do, because they're a little bit deeper. If I feel like I want to use for all over the face, not just like as an eyeshadow base, I'll go for this because I'd rather use this up over the Krylon one. But actually, do you realize I've been buying P. Louise bases and I've got these bases to use? Fool. Fool. Right, okay. This is what they look like. And as you can see, I've, I've dived into them. Some of them are a little bit more pigmented than the other. You do get staining off some of them. You can mix the colours together. I would say that some of them are a little bit sheerer than others. I think you get what you pay for. And I think if you bought the, the flash palette from Makeup Forever, they'd be a lot more vibrant. And that's why using some of the Krylon one as well would be better. But if you're starting out and you want to kind of use bases, that's them there to go for. I think that was like six pounds or something like that. These are Avon eyeshadow palettes. So we've got like the new style, which is the Mark, and then we've got the old true colour style. So it just depends what you've got. I think they were going for like a more of a Chanel type of theme with the round, but that's in there. So we've got feverish and nearly naked, so quite neutral. And then we've got I wish makeup brands would stop putting in the little sponge applicators. If you're gonna sell makeup brushes, just save the space, don't put them in, it's pointless. So we've got the Holidays Quad and the Mocha Latte, which I think is a really, really popular one. My mum does Avon and that's a lot that the customers seem to buy, is that one. And they're very nice for like, again, they're not as pigmented as other brands, but again, if you're just getting into makeup, the Avon ones are quite canny and they're, all, they're quite small so you can keep them in your handbag and the last one I've got is this one here you know why I've picked that one it's that blue and that is the blue my mind palette and I really like that and actually that blue is very bright it's really good look at that and then this icy shade is lovely as well the black I think I don't know the black's okay I've not I don't think I actually really tried the black other than swatching it but quite good it does smell like kind of like chalky makeup but again if you're just getting into it they're only about like you can always get them on offer don't pay full price for them get them when they're on offer or if when you get free things with them but they I think they're supposed to be like eight pounds full price but I normally wait till like they're half off or if they have like if you spend ten pounds and you get like a free goodie bag and stuff like that that's how I do it right what we got next we've got some NYX palette oh god I'm just dropping them off so the oldest one I have is the Vivid Brights one. I keep calling it Vivid Brights because that's what the eyeliner is, but it's the Brights one, and that's it there. And obviously this is the one that everyone wanted when NYX came, especially when NYX came to the UK. Everyone wanted this one. I think looking at the colours, the most popular ones that I've used is the purple and the yellow and a little bit of that green. And they're about £16 each. I then got this one, and my god, this was so hard to get, it was always sold out. This is a here. This is the Warm Neutrals palette. It was when like the Morphe palettes came out, and everyone was wanting it. And I really like this shade, and I like. So these are some of them here. This one is really good in the brow bone. This one, for some reason, isn't showing up that much, but it's a nice uh, metallic kind of ready colour. And then, let me get my fingers away. They do have some new ones out, and I'm so tempted, but I just think I've got so many other palettes, I could, you know, I can get other ones. But anyway, and then this is the last one I bought. This is it here. This is the Smoky and Highlight palette. I have not used this as much as I, I could have done. I find a lot of the times when I use this, it goes muddy on me. And not that great, but again, I think I was drawn in by this green, which I'm going to do a little bit on my finger. Ooh, that does not look that good. They look a bit, do you know what I mean? Like a bit meh. So I think that's why I've not really used them that much. I've got better smoky palettes, or better palettes that have smoky colours in them that I reach for more. And then I got this, and I was really excited for this because it was like all like duo, it was like duochromes before duochromes were like really popular 
but like metallics. This came out at one of the Christmases, like maybe 2018. And it is so disappointing. The shadows seal over, they crumble, they just do not perform as well as what you think they would. Oh, I've got a few here. They've got those ones here. I mean, the finger swatches look great, but they're just not good as what you think they would be. These are definitely ones that you cannot apply with a brush. You have to use your finger. But like I say, they seal so bad. I think that was about £18. You paid about £18 for a palette. You want it to be chef kiss perfect. In fact, when you pay any amount of money for a palette, you want it to be perfect. I mean, I know sometimes when palettes are cheap, you kind of go, oh, well, it was cheap, what do you expect? That really shouldn't be an excuse nowadays, really. And then the last one I got is the Ultimate Edit Palette. And I actually got this with a lip oil and maybe something else from one of the gift sets from last Christmas, but in Super Drug for like super cheap for like three pounds. This is like a 15 pound gift. I'm gonna open it up for you. And it's just a palette that I got because it was cheap and then I just never used. Um, I've dug into it maybe once or twice, but I think it's definitely one that's been, that needs to be a bit more loved. But I don't know why I got it when I had this. They're like the same thing but smaller. And these are already quite compact for travelling, so I think I was just suckered in by the Boxing Day sale malarkey. And when I say Boxing Day sale, it was actually like two weeks after Boxing Day, when everything, or two or three weeks after Boxing Day, where everything was like significantly reduced again because I'm trying desperately to get rid of it. Which is a shame because NYX stuff's really good. I've got a little individual palette here, and this is from Kat Von D, or well, it was from Kat Von D, or KVD Vegan Beauty, and it's the Plum Quad. I love this palette so much. I don't know why they discontinued the quads, well, obviously to make the bigger ones, but this is the only eyeshadow palette that I have from KVD. I was actually going to get more. You can see how much I love. I don't know how well you can see this one, it's like really dug into. It's just that just the the formula is really creamy and just mm, just so lovely and I just like this shit is so good. I actually I borrowed the fetish palette from my friend Jesse and I really enjoyed that and I've been trying to like get it like on Depop and things like that. But I know it's quite old, so I'm just humming and hawing. And I don't know how I feel about the new palette. I feel like since they've been taken over, it's not as like edgy anymore it's quite soft like where's the vibrant colors where's the weirdness like give me all that stuff why are you giving me like a neutrals palette like neutral palettes are nice but like give me something a bit more edgy please please okay we've got two things from colourpop i love colourpop and these were the ones that made me buy the eyeshadow palettes monochromatic eyeshadow palettes because i bought some singles and i bought some super shock shadows i had super shock shadows super shock shadows from ages ago and then when these came out i was like oh yes i need these it's so bad in my life so we've got the just my look and blue moon palette they're dirt cheap they're like 12 dollars they've got a black friday sale on at the moment when i uploaded this when i'm when i'm recording this should i say so go get that. I actually have ordered quite a few things from the Black Friday sale. So if that sounds like something that you would like, go check it out now. But these are insane. Oh, so good. Look at them. You've got Billie Jean and then you've got Mary Jane. Oh, so, so lovely. Really lovely eyeshadow palettes. And I'm so glad I bought them. And I don't think they sell those two anymore, but they sell like a variation of them, which is a shame that they don't sell them anymore, but obviously they've got to make more things. See, I told you there was a lot of stuff in here. Okay, and I've still got a lot more things to go through. The most kind of recent eyeshadow palette-ish that I've got is this Profusion one, which I got from the advent calendar. I'll leave a link down below. This is actually an all right palette. And I'm actually wearing some of the Profusion singles. Well, like they're a duo, but it's like classed as a single. Eyeshadow on my eyes today. Fant I've been sleeping on this brand. Really good quality, very cheap. I will say this, I've used the shadow a few times. It does not look like this on the eye. It's more orangey. I don't know how well you can see that, but they're really good. So of course, my battery dies. So it gave me a chance to, uh, to clear up behind me and create some more space for the next lot of palettes. So thank you very much if you've made it this far through the, through the thing. We're kind of halfway there, ish, ish. Right, so I thought I would show you two newish palettes to my collection. We've got the Be Perfect Stacey Marie Carnival XL Pro palette and then the Be Perfect 
uh, Stacey Marie Carnival 3 Love Tahiti palette. So I'm going to show you this one first because this is one of my favourite palettes of all time. It is incredible. Look at all those colours. I'm going to have my duck down so I can see myself. Look at all those colours. You've got three highlighters. You've got nude. You've got pinks, purples, greens, brights, oh, everything. Shimmers. Just so beautiful, so, so good. It's such an amazing palette. And I think it's £42, but I do think that it is on offer at the moment with um, Black Friday sale at Beauty Bay. So treat yourself. They've also got the smaller one too. The next one, the Tahiti palette, isn't on sale, but it is a cheaper palette because there's less things in it. There's no highlighters. And I think this one's about £36. I can't remember how much I paid for it. But this is it here. So you've got, again, lots of nudes. You've got lots of pinks and purples, which I'm all about. And then you've got some pops of greens and blues. But the greens are a little bit deeper. You've got like a really lovely one called Forest, which is obviously a forest green. You've got some more brights, which they're well known for. But you've also got some duo chromes. I will say that this palette is lovely, but it's not a, a patch on the other one, in my opinion. It's I think I need to play with it more. But like the shimmer shades are lovely. They are fantastic on the fingers. Like when you do a when I do a little swatch, this one has sealed over though. So I've got some shades here. This one, which is vanilla, which is beautiful, it has sealed over already, which has annoyed me intensely because I don't want it to seal at all. This shade here, rose pink, is stunning, and I'm gonna show you as well some of the purples because I feel like you need to see purple metallic shades. Now I'll swatch some other ones as well. I mean, there's some really, really lovely colours that I haven't even had a chance to go into yet. We've got some, again, some ranches, but this is this is my favourite shade. This is Amethyst, which is a, a metallic purple. And then you've got some other kind of random shades here. They are lovely. I just think I need to, like I say, play with this palette because I do lean more. Even though this is a new one, I have been leaning more towards the original. I just, I'm just so obsessed with the original. It's like, it's hard to kind of match up, but it is lovely. And I think if you are wanting to find some affordable quite large pan palettes that are good quality forget morphe forget your anesthesia beverly hills novena palettes go for these ones because they're cheaper they're in cardboard as well so nicer for the environment but also you've got a good array of colors and if you're starting out this one's fantastic because you've got nudes you've got bright and you've got highlighters in there as well i hope that be perfect bring out i mean i know they've got other palettes but i hope they bring out more in this vibe because it's all that i'm obsessed with Okay, I'm going to talk about like Morphe and things like that. I'm going to show you the Morphe palette that I have. So this is the first Morphe palette I bought. And this is the Boss Mood 35M palette. So again, lots of neutrals, but I'm all about the greens. I do love green eyeshadows. I love purple, I love green, I love blue. So you've kind of got a mixture of the, the purples and the greens. But I thought there were some nice, interesting like khaki colours that weren't just, just brown. There were some nice ones in there. I will say that I've used this palette about maybe four times. I just don't reach for it, if I'm being honest. And, I, and this is the next palette I'm going to show you. I bought like only like a month before lockdown. And I just do not reach for the next one at all. There's like better eyeshadow colours out there. I'm just going to show you what this orange one looks like as well. I don't know. I just, I, you just can't beat this. Oh my God. You just can't beat the, the Be Perfect ones, if I'm being honest. Now this palette, I got suckered into this because I am sucker. I am a sucker for sales, for offers, for anything like that. If they say to me, Sarah, you just need to spend a little bit more and you'll get all this extra stuff for free. I'm like, okay. I only came in for like an eyebrow pencil. But okay, so I got the Morphe 39L Hit The Lights palette and it came with a deal where you got two, three, three brushes, two Morphe ones and a Jeffree Star one, which is this one here, and a P. Louise base for like £40. But then if I got a paint, like the like the acid rain ones, I paid like a, like a supplement, like an extra couple of quid, and I got that instead. So you got quite a few things. Or was it four brushes? I can't remember. But anyway, this is the palette, and this is like in the James Charles style thing. And honestly, it's not very good. Like it's it's not a good palette at all. The colours are patchy. And actually, when I first bought this palette, I had to go and exchange it because the blue just exploded on me. Colours come out patchy. There is a pressed glitter in here. Actually, there's a couple of pressed glitters. I think this made my eyes water so bad. I have I have worn glitter on my eyes for years. 
and I know sometimes they put that disclaimer on like it's not eye safe so then they but they put it in eyeshadow palette because they know everyone's going to use it this made my eyes stream so bad it is not a palette for me at overall sucked in by an offer on that same vein as like morphe and those kind of black plastic palettes we have something from lick and lash beauty so lick and lash beauty is like a uk equivalent of morphe so it's that kind of private labeling type of thing so i got this for my kit for when i do like freelance work um i don't do freelance work very often i've done a wedding <laughs> um, which is my friend joe's sister sarah's wedding mainly because i just have very bad confidence issues but i did use this along with the zoeva palettes which i'm going to show you in a second but these are just pretty much like dupes for the uh, morphe one so i've got the 350 i've got the 35a I mean, they smell chalky, like they smell like cheap makeup. And they are cheap, they're like £15 each. They're like super affordable. So, again, if you are looking for affordable makeup for like teenagers just getting into makeup, they're absolutely fine. Like, they, they're not as pigmented as other ones. Like, they do take, they, don't, they do require some building up, but actually, when you're learning makeup, it's always best to, to dive in with something that is a bit more buildable anyway so that you're not just putting pigment on and then you're like why won't it move it's all getting all whatever so you can create very bright looks in this and then the last one we've got i think it's a warm toned one yeah so this is like the this is v2 but this is like the the proper you know the morphe one that everybody wanted and there's some nice shades in there but some of the shades are very similar and this is where i had the iconic issue with that lady and which i've talked about the other ones where the eyeshadows went muddy and she was just really weird and it was because i was using this palette now i'm going to show you one of my favorite palettes of all time this is the sugar pill pro palette this is what it looked like when it first came out it came pre-formed it's, it's very tight it's from 2012 i got this at the iMac stand there wasn't very many left there was only like a few amounts and this is what it looks like it is very well loved it is eight years old I still use these eyeshadows and I know that's gross but I don't care because I love them. Taco is pretty much finished. I do have a backup from Taco that I got like about three, no, five, no. No, it was eight years ago. Yeah, eight years ago. With a backup of Poison Plum as well because Poison Plum's my favourite. They don't do some of these shades anymore. They don't do 2am. They don't do Velocity. They don't do after party or dolly pop dolly pop i think is what trixie mattel used to use as blush they're fantastic and if you've not tried sugar pill eyeshadows please go try them out their pigments are also amazing um, and for the price point you actually get quite a lot the next thing i've got here is the sparkle baby palette i have just hardly ever used this palette and you'll see i don't know why i've not really used it because i, I feel like now i would like the colors i think i bought it in that hype of like I love sugar pill, I'm gonna get everything sugar pill, and then I just never used it. But I'm just gonna do some swatches. They're very there, they're, 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 they're quite old, but they're nice. And I think they have, I have used some of them, I can see they're dints, but not as much as maybe I should have. And I think maybe, I don't know if I'm gonna use it again, maybe it's just one to keep and love, I don't know. But I'm gonna pop that back in there. And obviously, another reason why I bought it was it had a kitten on the front, a sucker for animals. Okay, the next thing I'm going to show you is all my Urban Decay things. So my oldest Urban Decay palette is the Naked 2. It's very well loved, it's very tatty. And I love the Urban Decay brushes, I don't care what anyone says. The Urban Decay, oh my god, it's absolutely smashed to delivery. Oh my god, how's that happened? <gasps> oh no, 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 get black eyeshadow off my carpet, please. Be right back i'm gonna go empty this out oh my god i have just had to clean this out and this is what it looks like obviously the black has exploded which would make sense why that drawer has black eyeshadow all over it but this is one of my favorite palettes the shade foxy i absolutely adore as you can see and it's just a fantastic palette it's very old again should definitely probably not use this i'm going to give it a wipe maybe that'll make it look a bit no no it's just that gross then to pair that up with, this is my one of my all-time favourite palettes ever. And I don't know why they discontinued it. They should have kept it in their in their main line. When the rewired palette came out, they actually used some of the same shades that were in here. And I just thought it was such a cop-out. Because it's like either re, re bring out the electric palette as it was with maybe either extra shades or just say, look what's back. I am um, I did drop it, so I, I I broke it when I was in London. But this is it here. I absolutely adore this palette. You've got bright. You've got shimmers, you've got, uh, I just love everything about it. Oh, here you go, I've got a hold it like that. It's just absolutely amazing. It came with a brush. The brush wasn't as good as other brushes, 
but it's absolutely amazing. These stain the eyes so bad, I don't care. For me, if it stains, it's a good eyeshadow. I love it. But things like Gonzo, I absolutely love. My favourite one's Freak. Oh, actually, no, I love Frash as well. And then we've got Savage. So this is just some of them here. Just unreal. They blend like a dream. And honestly, one of the best palettes that Urban Decay have ever done. And it's just a shame that they got rid of it. And I will never, ever, ever get rid of this. I will. Then I got this one, which is the Urban Decay Naked 3. So more rose gold. I mean, I, I like this one as a second best from the Naked palette, from the Naked range. But then these ones, I got the Naked Smoky. Hardly use that one. I, I just, again, a smoky shades. I feel like I should be able to use them and then I can't. Don't really care for that one that much. And also I hate how the light shade is on this side, the dark shade is on this side. Keep them uniform, people. And then the last one up the Naked range is the Naked Cherry, which I got last year. I just can't make eyeshadow looks out of this. I've tried it quite a few times and I just cannot make eyeshadow looks out of it. So I'm gonna give it I'm gonna give it more goes because I, I got it in TK Maxx for like £25. Every time I do a look with it, it looks awful. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Then I got this which is the vice palette i don't know which vice one it is but this is what it looks like and can you tell why i got this palette hang on a second can you, can you tell maybe like this rule here yeah so i got this one here but i also love the shade name of this one which is bobby dazzler and this is dragon i just love them this is i don't think i use this palette as much as i should have I th again i think i found other palettes that i like more and I'm going to get my hands a wipe. Everything has got a layer of black eyeshadow on it. It comes in a pouch. The pouch is filthy. Just because I've been using it. And then I've got this one. This one was actually given to me as a present by some of my old colleagues for my 25th birthday, I think it was. And this is another Vice palette. I absolutely love this. This packaging note is a nightmare. It looks visually stunning. But then when you get dust in it, eyeshadow in it, foundation which i've definitely got foundation in it you just can't clean it you just can't get in there and clean it properly which is infuriating but this is it here again very similar color story to the other vice palette so again drawn into this one here which is dragon no grasshopper but also really love this shade here which is flame so some very nice shades in here and again i pretty much only use the kind of green shades so i've just i'm just not paid attention to this palette very much which is a shame i'm sure i had another vice i got this off my friend steph i said dropping stuff and this is the urban decay urban spectrum eyeshadow palette i love the way that this one's packaged as well so it looks like this it's 3d and that's it there and it's pretty much all shimmers which now actually i think i would actually quite like because Ooh, oh my god, have I been I have not been looking at this palette. I have I have totally dissed this palette. Look at them. Okay, I was gonna try and de-stash this, but I think I'm gonna give this some love. But this is very old. This is like from 2013, 2014. Okay, last few things, last few things before your, your bums all drop off from being numb. I got this little mini palette from Elf. If you bought X amount of Elf stuff from Boots, you got a free eyeshadow palette. It's not very good. It's called Sculpting Silk Eyeshadow. It's just not very good. That's, that's all I need to say about that one. Then I got these here. These are from my most recent makeup purchase. These are the Zoeva um, eyeshadow palettes. This one's called Blank Fusion. Mm -mm -mm, look at that yellow. We have got Caramel Melange. Mm -mm -mm. Look at that top of work. Mm -mm. Yum, 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 yum. And the last one we've got is, which is one, of, which one I really like at the moment, is the Cocoa Blend. Look at that. Fantastic. And I got all three of those for $19.99 at TK Maxx. Guys, if you loved bargain hunting and you're from the UK, go look at my TK Maxx, tre TK Maxx Treasures video. Obviously, shut at the moment because of lockdown, but 
starting from 2nd of December, I'm going to go have a little hunt because I reckon there's going to be some good stuff to find in TK Maxx ready for Christmas. So if that's something that you like to go give them a little watch to see what kind of things that TK Maxx have had recently between October and November. Then we're just going to finish off on some Makeup Revolution. So I got, this is the first Makeup Revolution thing I ever bought. I got it with some other things like some pigments and some lipsticks. This is the Give Them Nightmares palette. Lots of very similar colours, very dark purples, blues. And actually, it's actually quite a good palette. There's some very pigmented shades in here. The white, actually, which I've used quite a lot of, it doesn't look very good in that swatch, but actually it's pretty good for like a cheap brand of makeup. Then I've got this one, which is the Makeup Revolution Reloaded Iconic Division palette. This is supposed to be a little bit like the subculture palette. And it's probably just as bad as the subculture palette. It's not very good at all. Very patchy. And yeah, I might try and have a couple of goals out of it just in case my skills have improved since I've bought it. But not very good. And then this is the last one. Oh my god, bless you for, for witness. This is the Revolution Love Conquers All palette. This is like a highlighter and eyeshadow palette in one. And I got this free in Superdrug when you spent like £12 on makeup or something. And this is actually quite a good palette. The shadows are really pigmented and yeah, it's just nice. I like the highlight actually. The highlight's really nice. And I'm gonna show you the black. The black's actually really good. It's a terrible swatch, but yeah. So there are some very hitty missy things from Makeup Revolution and Revolution, pretty much all the same company, isn't it? So again, if you want cheap makeup, go give them a little look. But yes, that was everything. My God, I am so sorry if your bum has dropped off from how long you have watched me talk about all my eyeshadow palettes. But that is everything. Was there anything in there that you saw that you have? Is there anything that you think that I could appreciate more and give some more love to? What would you like to see me use first out of that? I'm leaning actually a lot to that Spectrum palette because I'm really into shimmers at the moment and getting some sparkle on. Um, but yes, thank you very much for watching. If you like to give it a little thumbs up, it lets me know if you want to do more. And if you really liked it, you can subscribe. About 76% of you watch my videos aren't subscribed. So why don't you subscribe? I do lot of videos, I do makeup, I do collections. Come on, give it a little subscribe. You can also follow me on Instagram if you want to as well. I am definitely going to work my way through my drawers ooh, and show you all the makeup that I have. And hopefully by the time that I do my next one, there will be some more makeup arrived. Also, I do have a empties coming up and a favourites for November. I thought I'd do some favourites as well, just to let you guys know what I've been interested in loving. But yes, I will see you later. Bye.